Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the greatest common factor, also known as the GCF, using prime factorization. Now, I like using this strategy and find it helpful when working with numbers that are a little larger in value and not as simple to work with. For example, the strategy of listing out all of the factors of the numbers in order to find the GCF can be kind of difficult and time-consuming when working with larger numbers in value. So this is a different approach, a different strategy to be familiar with when it comes to finding the greatest common factor. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number 1, where we have 63 and 84. Let's start with the prime factorization of 63, and we will start with the factors of 7 and 9. 7 times 9 equals 63, so 7 and 9 are factors of 63. Now 7 is prime, so we are done there. 9 we can break down. 3 times 3 equals 9, so 3 is a factor of 9. 3 is prime. So we are done there and there. And that's the prime factorization of 63. We can't break that down any further. Now we have the prime factorization of 84. Let's start with the factors of 2 and 42. 2 times 42 equals 84. So 2 and 42 are factors of 84. Now 2 is prime, so we are done there. 42 we can break down. 2 times 21 equals 42. So 2 and 21 are factors of 42. 2 is prime, so we are done there. 21 we can break down. 3 times 7 equals 21. So 3 and 7 are factors of 21. 3 is prime and 7 is prime as well. So we are done. That's the prime factorization of 84. We can't break that down any further. Now that we have the prime factorization of both of those numbers, we need to find common prime factors. So prime factors that they share. Now I'm going to list the prime factors of each to make it easier to find the ones they have in common. So as far as 63, we have 3, 3, and 7. 3 times 3 times 7 equals 63. For 84, we have 2, 2, 3, and 7. 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 equals 84. Now we need to find any common prime factors. 3 is a common prime factor, and 7 is a common prime factor. So they have a 3 and a 7 in common. Once we find those common prime factors, we multiply them. So 3 times 7, and that equals 21. And that's our greatest common factor. So the GCF, the greatest common factor, of 63 and 84 is 21. Let's move on to number 2 where we have 48 and 72. Let's start with the prime factorization of 48 and we will start with the factors of 2 and 24. 2 times 24 equals 48 so they are factors. Now 2 is prime, so we are done there. We can break down 24. 2 times 12 equals 24, so 2 and 12 are factors. 2 is prime, so we are done there. We can break 12 down further. 2 times 6 equals 12, so 2 and 6 are factors. 2 is prime, so we are done there, but we can break 6 down further. 2 times 3 equals 6, so 2 and 3 are factors. 2 is prime, so we are done there, 
and three is prime. So we are done there as well. And we are done with the prime factorization of 48. We can't break that down any further. Now we need the prime factorization of 72. Let's start with the factors of two and 36. Two times 36 equals 72, so they are factors. Two is prime, so we are done here. 36, we can break down. Two times 18 equals 36, so two and 18 are factors. Two is prime, so we are done there. 18, we can break down. 2 times 9 equals 18, so 2 and 9 are factors. 2 is prime, so we are done there, but we can break 9 down further. 3 times 3 equals 9, so 3 is a factor of 9. 3 is prime, so we are done there and there. And we are done with the prime factorization of 72. We can't break that down any further. Now that we have the prime factorization of both 48 and 72, we need to find common prime factors. So I'm going to write the prime factors of 48 and 72. That way it's a little easier to find common prime factors. For 48, we have two, 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 and three. So two times two times two times two times three equals 48. For 72, we have two, 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 three, and three. Two times two times two times three times three equals 72. Now we need to find common prime factors. They have a two in common, another two in common, another two in common, and then a three in common. So now that we found the common prime factors, we need to multiply them to get the greatest common factor. So we have two times two times two. They have three twos in common times three. Two times two is four times two is eight times three is 24. So the GCF, the greatest common factor of 48 and 72 is 24. So there you have it. There's how to find the greatest common factor using prime factorization. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.